Today we're incredibly excited to finally bring you the new Merc of Dust Extractor. Now we've been waiting for this for over 12 months, we've known it's been in the pipeline, but here it is. Um, available to buy straight away right now, um, it is the Merca Dexos. The 12 being for 1200 watts and the 17 for 17 litres. So you'll notice 17 litres is less than the 30 litres of the 1230, so it's a smaller machine, more compact, easy to get in your van, and more importantly, easy to carry around. So today we're going to run through some of those features and we'll also unbox it, see what's in the box, and yeah, have a good look at it. Let's get into the unboxing. So if we turn around the box, you'll see on the side that you've got the QR code to register your third year of warranty, which I really recommend doing, and then the Made in Finland um, icon. I believe 90% of this dust extractor was actually made within 50 miles of the factory, so really good. That's a little uh, cottage industry. In the top, you've got your standard Merca manuals. You've got the general Dexos user manual. I'm sure all of you read that cover to cover. Uh, but in all seriousness, everything you need is in there. Um, and then the two plus one year warranty manual too, uh, which just shows you, you know, everything that's covered. Inside, we've got the, uh, the pulp uh, inserts. We actually use those for paint cans, uh, which are really useful. They do work really well. Uh, I think we've all had experiences with uh, carriers being a little heavy handed. And you've got like a, uh, a dust cover, uh, which will prevent any scuffs in the initial uh, storage. Um, it's quite cool to have a little unveil. Here he goes. That is the Merca Dexos. I'm sure everyone can agree that it's a pretty slick looking machine. Um, quite a small footprint as well compared to the 1230. Much easier to carry, that's for sure. Um, and a lot easier to stow as well. The sort of squareness of it uh, makes it easier to stack around in your van um, and also put under your workbench. Coming in here with the sustainer, and this will also work with the toolbox that have just been released. You see there's little hooks on there. Goes into the top of the lid, um, secures on the side. We twizzle it around and undo the lid clip. And under the lid clip is a little metal clip, which then goes onto the sustainer. Fasten the uh, lid clip again, and you could lift the whole machine by the sustainer. Probably wouldn't recommend it, but uh, it's uh, quite a neat little thing that Merca have done there. And it also means you don't need any extra clips. Um, under the lid, we have the power cable. Now that can actually hook on the back like uh, the old 1025. So you've got a rubber strap there, um, which it makes it a bit more accessible um, to hook up to a supply as and when it's needed um, and actually once you've got the the sander cable in there along with the uh, with the hose uh, you probably wouldn't fit that in anyway to get it all closed this is the standard merca orbital sander hose going from 27 mil to 32 mil um, and that again neatly comes out with being able to close the lid Keep it all neat and tidy. That again goes obviously onto your sander and go onto all of your orbital and the Deros RS sanders. Inside, the port is actually coming vertically out rather than obviously on the 1230, it's on the, on the side. And then you've got a nice cap on there which prevents uh, any dust escaping if you have the hose detached. You've also got the primary power supply, which is 230 volt, um, and that is auto start as standard. Uh, so whenever you turn on the sander, your extractor will turn on if it's hooked up through there. You've got back and front handles, which is are brilliant. So if you need two hands to lift it and a master switch, which isolates the power. Underneath there, you've got a rear foot brake, and that's gonna help anchor the uh, dust extractor in, uh, in transit and also uh, when you're using a sand, you don't want it nipping at your heels, so it just keeps it where it, you want it to be. 
the front here you've got your secondary port which you can turn on and off um, by sorry the um, the auto start you can turn on and off so if you want to hook up your smartphone or your radio for example um, you can have it on constantly without the dust extractor coming on or you can switch it to the auto start with the button I'm pressing right now um, and that's nice and easy to operate you've got the extraction level and then your two phase um, switches to turn on the power these are exhaust filters really easy to change you shouldn't have to change these much at all but if you feel like the um, the machine's getting too hot that could be worth changing going into the bottom of the machine now just lift off with the handle on top there you have your filter uh, which is actually screwed on but it's very easy to remove those um, so it's all nice and accessible and you've actually got four feet which is very handy so you can when you're changing the bag you can actually put the top of the extractor on the ground without the filter or any of the underneath getting damaged So under here also you have a, um, a wet sanding or a wet extraction cutoff. So that's a float level. As soon as it picks up, then it will cut the power and that just protects all of your internals of the extractor when you're wet extracting. When you are wet extracting, you will need to remove the bag um, and then probably change the filter after. This bag clips on really easily. Um, and so it's really easy to change. Uh, you've also got um, a, uh, a lid for it to keep all the dust in when you remove it. You can run these without bags, but you would have to change the filter a lot more. What's really cool about these compared to the 1230 is that the inlet is going in rather than in the side, like the 1230, which means that the whole of this capacity is filled. Um, so that makes it a lot more efficient. Really easy to clip back on again. So, um, yeah, absolutely no dramas there. Okay, now we can actually turn on the machine. Um, always start with the master switch at the back, which uh, once you've plugged it in and switched on the power at the mains, this is 230 volt uh, M class. Um, so M class means extra filtration. It meets HSE uh, workplace regulations. Uh, so any business really needs one of these or if you're using it on site, um, switch that on and part of the HSE requirements is some sort of auto filter clean and then also to have um, a power um, dependent on the diameter of your hose. Now all the Merca sander hose, so the hoses for the Deros, the Leros, the Dioses are all 27 mil. So this is a 27 mil diameter hose which would be the standard size diameter here. Now Merca have quite neatly put in this display so you can go through your different sizes. The two Merca sizes are the 27 mil and the 20 mil. The 20 mil is what you'd use on the hand sanding. So your hand sanding pads with a smaller diameter hose, they fit in here as well. As we spoke about earlier, the sander and the hose are all neatly plugged in inside here. Obviously, if you've got a hose sleeve, those are going to go together in here as well. If you're running two sanders, you'll have the Y piece that will come out the front here. So it's a different Y piece to the 1230 and then have a splitter outside here. Um, sander is plugged in and this plug inside is your primary um, sander plug in. So that will turn on and off with the paddle on the Deros that we'll show in a minute as per your 1230. So you can close that, so you can have your sustainer on the top. You've got your main power button here, which turns on all the electrics. Your Bluetooth, which you can connect to your My Merca app. And actually what's really cool on the My Merca app, which I'll go through in another video, is you can actually um, link up all of your um, controls and so all of these buttons are available to see in your My Merca app, as well as if you've had any um, error events or anything like that, it shows in that app as well. So that's really useful to have. 
As I was saying earlier, you can change your diameter. So that's basically the amount of suction depending on the diameter of the hose um, to meet regulations. And it's nice and easy to do that. And you can do it on your app too. We'll go through the buttons on this side of the console here. And you've got your auto filter clean on there. So you can also on the app change the frequency of the auto filter clean too. So whether you want it standard, I think it's about every 20 seconds, you can change it to up to six to eight minutes, maybe 10 minutes if you wanted to. If you don't like it popping and banging, then you can turn that off and literally just have on the manual clean. And to use the manual clean, obviously it's not a button to turn on. You would, like you would with the 1230L, you would take off your hose from your Deros, hold it over, hold your hand over to create the suction and then hold down that button. And what that does is then it chucks some air at the filter to push through any loose bits or anything that might be sort of blocking up the filter. Um, we recommend doing that roughly every eight hours at least of sanding. Um, but if you do it once a day, you're not going to go wrong as standard. Um, this here, this two, this is for the second port for your sander. So obviously you can use this if you're running two sanders at the same time with Y piece, you can now use this to plug in your second sander, um, which when that is lit up, that is uh, turns on and off with your paddle. So, um, whereas if it's turned off, like so, you then run your radio or plug your phone in or do whatever you want to with this extra socket. Um, so there's always power going through that. It's just that light is on when you want it to turn on with, with the paddle on your sander. On the other side, we've got the level of extraction. Um, so it's really nice and easy to either decrease or increase. And then this is the turning on the and off. So you see that, it's got the M on there. And obviously we'll just run the, the Deros, obviously it's plugged in there, hold on your normal power button, turn up your speed, and there we go. So basically there's three levels to turn it on. You have to turn on the, back, the master switch in the back, turn on your whole console there, and then the last one is turn on. Obviously, if you want to just run your sander, you can just have it on that one without running your, uh, your extractor. Likewise, if you don't want your, your radio or anything to turn off, but you also don't want your extractor on, you just have it on that level. Uh, without without the actual machine on and it will still run the electricity through, which is really handy. Another fantastic extra for the De Dexos is this remote control. Now it doesn't come with the Dexos, however, for um, a really good price, I think obviously we don't know exactly how much they are going to be at the moment, but um, I believe they are going to be under 50 pounds. Um, you can basically run any battery tool, any wireless tool, any, um, any air sander off the Dexos. And then this calculates and, and feels vibration. So you can set it. So when it feels a vibration, it sets off the, uh, the dust extractor using the Bluetooth. So you turn it on with the button or you have it with the vibration control. Now I've plugged in this Deros to a separate power supply. So not through the, um, not through the, the uh, dust extractor. So normally this wouldn't work. So the dust extractor normally wouldn't turn on with the sander. However, you can see that A is flashing there which tells us that it is operational and we turn on sander, just turn it on first, that would help. 
Okay. So that's really neat and something I think that anyone on site would be really chuffed to have. Um, a great little extra from Merca. Um, so yeah, we're very excited about getting these on the shelf. Thank you very much for watching uh, our video on the Merca Dexos and remote control. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you've got any more questions, you're very welcome to email us on info at restrate.co.uk. Or if you're already sold on it and you really want to get one, uh, they're available on our website at restrate.co.uk. Now, uh, until our next video, it's bye for now. Take care. Yeah.